Hi everybody, this is Jan from Jan's Art. Um, I'm going to do a painting on my iPad. Uh, I've never attempted this before, so I just want to see how close it is to actually painting something, doing it on an iPad. Now my reference, um, if I show you my reference that I'm using, this is... Um, Get that reference in. Okay, because this is my reference, and what I've done is I've just traced it onto the iPad, just the outline. I want to have a go at painting it. Um, I want to start with the sky first, and the beauty of an iPad is it le lets you select the colours. If you're using a reference from the reference so you'll never have a problem with the colors that you want um, for example I'm gonna do the sky so let's get rid of the sketch I've got my horizon line in see and first off what I want to do is I just want to get the lightest tone on the sky and it's like a it's like a caramel. Okay, so I'll go to my brushes. I'll go to my acrylic brush. Yeah, that'll do. Let's make it as big as I can. And, and let's just put in a sky. Okay. And I'm just bringing it to the horizon line, see? So there's my sky, and it's all one colour. And that's the lightest colour, I think. Oh, no, I've got a bit lighter there. So let's put in some of that lighter colour for the sky. So that is, I'm going to the very lightest. That's it. Okay, now I don't need to worry too much about going over the horizon because I'm just concerned with the sky. So what I want to do now is I just want to get... Um, some of the clouds in first. So I'll start with my darkest and I'll just bring it to about 50%. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in some, let's reduce it a little bit and let's just paint something in here. Let's just change the opacity a little bit more. That's it. And it goes right across here. So what I'm doing is I'm just painting just the rough outlines of the of the of the sky. So let's just get some of this cloud in. That brush is a bit rough I'm gonna go for a a, um, a dryer brush oh I've got watercolors as well well let's, let's see what a Tamar brush looks like well that might be a bit better that's it and the more I use it that's it Coming in, oh, that's a, that's a, a better brush, see? I can just go in and do my clouds. I'm just doing twirly bits at the minute. And I'm just, let's try smudging this a little bit. Try my smudgy brush, see what this does. Because sometimes I can get some nice effects with it. Right. I like it better with the paint brush. There we go. I just 
tap them little bits. Just go over everything. All right, now this bit goes along here, and there's a little bit of. So let's add something along the top. Okay. This is my first attempt with this brush. I still see a few little lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the colour of the sky and just put in some... That's it. All I'm doing is I'm just going over the edges. I'm going to try a different brush. Put some artistic brushes here. Let's see what some of these do. Let's try this one. Look at my size. Oh, this is quite nice. I like this. And it's giving me a bit of a different shape look. So let's go back to my colour of the sky. And let's just play around with this, this brush. Just a little bit. Let's just put a little bit down there. Uh, let's just add. There we go. So you see, I can start to get a oh, bit of a line there. Don't want that. Okay, so we've got some some of the cloud here. Let's go back to the sky colour. Let's just erase some of that and bring this closer. Ah, that's better. Just raise a little bit. Okay, I'm getting something that that's a bit better. It's just different layers. That's all I'm doing on each other. There we go. And let's just bring this corner dark sky over there. Right, so that'll do for the moment. Now, I've got some nice pink. So I'm just going to add some pink just in the middle. See? Like a peachy pink. There's a bit of yellow in there. So let's get that yellow in. See? Excellent. Right, so I've got my little bit of, let's start adding some of this darker pink on the bottom, eh? See, let's just... Reduce the size. Let's just get some of that pink in there. Right, brilliant. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for a what I think is a brighter colour. Just to highlight a little bit. Take the opacity. Ah, 
that's better. So now I can... That's a better colour. So I've gone in, I've gone off the palette and I've just chose a, a lovely lemon yellow and, it, and, it, and I think it looks much, much better. Right, now that I've got a bit of cloud uh, behind her head and it's lighter than the cloud. So I'll get that as a lovely grey cloud. So let's just work on this. And it's about halfway. There's actually a little bit of pink going on here, look. So let's add some of this pink. Right, and it goes straight to her head. Um, so what I can do to make sure that I get... There's my rough sketch. Now if I bring my rough sketch and bring it on top of everything and just lock it so there you are so I can see now where the um, as a reference where that pink is coming you see and it's going to the head there's a bit more pink on this side that's lovely right that's fine so i'm getting some let's go back to this gray which is on this photograph here let's increase my brush and let's just bring some of this oh it's beautiful to paint you're really getting um some lovely effects Right, let's just try this dark bit over here because I've got to let's reduce the size. I've got a darker bit there, and it's coming down there, and I've got a bit that goes straight through. That lemony bit, see? That's it, and there's a bit on the top. So let's just add that. So all I'm doing is I'm just looking at my sky. Right, let's get rid of that sketch. Where are we? Rough sketch, take that off. So I can just see the the clouds again, you see. So I've got my references where I need them. Let's just bring some of this darkness here. And if I just reduce that just enough. There we go, see? So I can bring those out there. We have a little bit of something happening along here. So let's just bring that out onto the onto the red. See? Any smudgy brush? Yeah, that's. Thing is, with acrylic, it's smudging it like you probably would if you were putting your finger through acrylic. Which is, yeah, I suppose it's okay. But it's uh, not what I wanted. Maybe if I. That's better. I might just airbrush that a little bit. Right, let's go back to make clouds and and let's just work on it. 
this is going on lovely. Just playing with the different sizes. See what options they give me. And as soon as you vary the pressure, the, the, the brush head that you're using um, rotates. So you're never going to get the same. There we go. Maybe there's a little bit just coming down here. Oh, this is looking exactly how I want it. Uh, yeah, I'm getting what I wanted. Now I've got a light bit in the dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the yellow. I'm going to go really strong. And I'm just going to... back to the dark and I can just go over the edges and make it so it doesn't there we go so it's a thinner that's it so get that little bit working for me okay let's get all this as dark as we can Nothing just to increase it. Oh, yes. That's it. So I'm getting that sky the way I want it, see? So I'm just reducing it. And I just want to work on this edge of the, of the cloud. Maybe have a little tear coming off here, you see, that's better. Probably see me little squiggles as I zoom in, you see. Let's make this a little tear coming off just there. Bring it up a bit. it maybe work on this okay so I'm having a little a teeny wee little tear in the clouds just about oh there it's a bit much so let's do it bit gentle change the opacity about there there we go just a little tear that's a little bit of light coming through just on the bottom see so let's put that little bit of light there Go back to my dark colour and just reinforce this. Make it a little bit bigger. I love the way it's rotating by itself, the end of my brush. And it's just a lovely effect just to do the clouds. It's just rand randomising. Let's go to this. Let's just get some of this in here. A bit, a bit more. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. Just going onto the. Oh, 
getting a lovely, some lovely colours going on here. Right now, I've got a nice little phony brown just on the bottom, so let's add some of that in here. Brilliant. Now we can bring this phone right across, see? Let's get this mid ground colour, see? That's it. Change the opacity. That's it. Brilliant. I'm starting to get the sky how I want it. I might want it a bit more red, so I'll go to my red and maybe go a little bit into the orange. That's it change my opacity and I'm just going to add some of this orangey red here see that's it not too not too thick I'm just pressing lightly with my brush to get some of that yellow come back on top of the red where I've just been blended in yeah Let's go back to that orangey red. I'll do. A little bit inside that. And maybe a little bit in there. And just a hint, see? Now this is a lovely clean way to paint, there is no mess, right, let's just get that yellow and let's put in some of this yellow just on top, make it a bit stronger see, that's it. Just blending it in with the orange. Okay. That's it. It is so, so, so subtle. Now, that bit of light that I just want to get here. I'm going to go with white. Just put in some of this. Blend it out a little bit. Change the opacity. Get some of this white in, see? And just put it up here. So I'm just painting with pure white, but I'm blending it in just enough. Right, let's just go on the horizon line. That's it, and just bring something on the centre there. Well, that's good. Now, this cloud here, let's just work on this just change it a little bit the size so I can just do a little bit Underneath this dark cloud, see? Raise it a bit. Just 
right into that little area there. There we go. Brilliant. Let's just tear away some of this cloud up here, hey? Eh? Oh, these this, these brushes are just superb for doing them. Um, clouds. Delicate little clouds. Look, just underneath. This is good practice actually for when you want to actually do the painting because you can see the colours interacting and, and they really do interact really really well. Let's just bring some of this fawny brown just there along the top. Alright, now i just notice something. I've got a little bit of thing with these little clouds here. I'll put them in, but there is something up here, you see. So I'll put that in up there. These ones. There. Coming part of this area here, you see. Let's get this back dark again. There we go. Now oh, that's much, much better. But I want some pink. Just here. That's it. Just get some pink in there. Maybe some lighter pink. I'm getting a splodge too much now, so let's tone this down. Maybe. Cut into the pink. Oh, that's better. That's better. I've got a bit of pink. That's all I wanted. Right, let's get a little bit of colour for the sky. Reduce the size, change the opacity, and Something happening underneath there, underneath that little bit of sky, and as a join there, this has to be a lot thicker. Into the that's better. Oops. I love how you can undo a paint stroke using the iPad. That's quite spectacular. Let's just come into 
this. It. Maybe smudge it a little bit. And now the smudge brush is doing what I want. It. I'm starting to get the sky the way I want it. See, let's just go into this lighter colour here and just tidy up this underneath this dark patch. Just bite into it a little bit. Delirious, look. Just underneath the cloud, see? to the dark. Oops, a bit too much, a bit too big. So let's just do this gradually. See? Keep changing the size till it's, you're, you're happy with what you want to work with. There we go. The beauty is if you go too much, if you put too much in, you can come back and take some of it away. See? It's, it's, it's not a end of, you can change things. This is what I love about this. And put the paint on and take paint off. There we go, just maybe build this up here. why my smudge brush is so let's use the same brush ah it's better I wondered why the smudge brush was walking around like ah it's better And I'm using the same brush to smudge as I am to paint. So I'm just tidying up some of my strokes. Just going over this. Oh, it's much, much better. Why didn't I capture that before? Well, like I say, I'm new to this. So... But I'm just seeing what you can do and what the limitations are. And at the minute, the limitations are, well, they're endless. Well, does that make sense? No. There's hardly any limitations. It's just your imagination, really. Now, see that star? Star in the dark cloud. Here's something I know you can't do in um, with the paint. But if I, oops, do 
a rectangle around it. Open this. What am I doing? Here? Ah, stop that. Let's go back. So if I go to this and freehand it. There's a little splodge there. And then just warp it. Oh, look what's happened. It's like you've torn the canvas, see? Ah. So that's something I've learned. So let's take that back. Let's undo that. I had thought just to move it, you see. But I think what you would have to do is probably this. You would grab it, copy and paste, and then use that bit to, yeah, see? And then you can line it up and try different things. better with the tear there. See, oh, that's much better. See? But at the moment, they'll have two bits. You see, I've got that bit. So if I merge them together, they become one. Excellent. And then all I need to do is just tidy up some of the little edges. This is coming on just like I want it to. Right, let's get my white. And let's do some painting. Just in here. See, that's it. Maybe just a little smidgen in there. Just where it's strong, see? it. I want to get some red and maybe bring some of this red in coming along here. Oh, that's quite nice. There we go. Bring in some of that red. Now there's a cloud bank, so let's get that cloud bank, which is there. So let's just make it fairly solid. There we go. There's that cloud bank coming in, see? the right depth of opacity. Let's get some of this yellow just maybe just pull push some of this out of here. That's it. There we go. So I'm getting that sky the way I want it. Have some brown up here, just a bit stronger. A few little smudges. Oh, the smudgy push is so much better now. That's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Let's just smudge some of this along here. That's it. Oh, this is working lovely, the sky. I'm getting really impressed with it. Let's get some 
a little bit of dark colour there, change the opacity. And let's just put a little bit in this corner. And bring this cloud. Make it come to a bit of a point. There we go. It's a dark cloud. You know, this bit here, I, I feel it has to be over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this over here, look. better just fill that up there been that niggling me that no end ah, that's better you always look at something and then you think oh it's probably better over there or it's got to be wider or fatter or thinner you see that's better now because I've moved this, this hook, cloud, I need to move this. So, I'm going to do this little trick again. Copy and paste, grab it, oops, grab it uniform and put it where I think it'll be much, much better. Okay, done. Now all I need to do is just tidy up some of the edges, whoops, maybe tidy up that a little bit there, get some light, oh it's too much. Oh. That's better. That is exactly what I wanted. Let's reduce this. Whoops, I'm erasing. I don't want to erase, I want to get my paintbrush. That's it. little splodges just there there we go see and this all oh, lines up perfectly with that little tear in the sky see now it's much much better so I can carve this little hook with some of this pale lemon there we go oh this is going on lovely this sky right so let's get some of this dark colour and I'm just going to be adventurous and I'm going to put some maybe little specks just little specks and just bring them in a few little scribbles squibbly wibbly bits and maybe a little bit go to my smudgy tidy up these squiggles there we go they don't look like squiggles anymore do they just blend them in see <laughs> Now that I do like, let's go to squiggle, 
that. Let's just maybe work on get me smudgy brush. Just push it in. There we go. And we can do it oops too much not so big there we go right get some of this Colour here, just put it in there. It's a nice grey here. Yeah. Excellent. So now I'm starting to get the sky the way I want. Now these dark bits of sky they need to be a little bit bolder. So whoops. Just to raise what you've done, Jan. Not what you wanted to show. That's better. And let's just bring these colours a little bit stronger. Change the opacity and the size and just do a little bit, honestly, just a smidgen. There we go. Just going into that grey, yeah? Right, I want to use some of this yellow. And just come in and do it just a little bit there. If I need some of this dark, actually, I need some of this dark over here. I need to make this have something coming here and then something going across and then it's meeting something over here. Okay. Maybe go with the red. That's a bit better. That's much, much better. See that red? Just gives it that little bit of edge. See? Let's increase it and bring some of it over here. Yeah. Do you know that brush is giving me uh, that TMR brush is giving me a little bit of let's try this. Oh, that's bad. 
to give me a little bit of a turner effect and I don't like that. So let's get some of this light. Bring it back to this red. all me red I need to bring some of it back so let's go to red let's go back to my acrylic brush change the size Get me smudgy brush. I think that's better. That's softening a bit. Yes, ah, that's better. Not so strong. Go back one. There we go. That's better, that's better. I like that. So let's have some of this red. Just the end of it here let's go try the spectra brush oh, this is nice I like this brush see it's just tr it's trial and error when you're doing it it's working on some of this gray me sky I think that's about as much as I want to do for the sky I mean I could just play with little bits of it but skies are forever tinkering with them and you're never going to be happy with what you want. Let's get some p pink over here. Oh, that's nice. Look. 
Oh, that's better. No, now it's behaving itself. Oh, that pink's so much better. Oh, that's much, much better. Much, much, much better. That pink. And this, I've got the right opacity and it's just sticking there, doing what I want it to do. And it just, it's a, it's a kind of uh, working with pastels. It really is, it's like a subtle little touch of the hand with a pastel can give you that tone you want. Or with an acrylic dry brushing it. <laughs> right. Do you know what? I'm gonna leave that. He said. Still playing with it. I'm gonna leave that for now. And this will be my first bit. The next bit I want to do is I want to do some of the coast, some of the shoreline. So, let's just put in some of these. Oh, this is a lovely brush, this. What brush is this? Spectra. There you go, you see? Perfect for these um, far horizon clouds. Right now, if I just show you, take the lock off. Oops, it's not what I wanted. Just show you my. That's what I'm working with, you see? I'm quite happy with that. Anyway, thanks for joining me. And tomorrow we'll do the shoreline. The sand and a few of the rocks. And hopefully it'll keep you interested to join me for another session. Happy painting. I hope you're enjoying your self-isolation. And um, just keep painting. Goodbye.